welcome back. And today we are going to be canning in the new kitchen. And we are canning a lot. Um, we're going to start off by pickling today. But you're going to see a couple videos of me in the same outfit. And that is because this is going to be a long day of canning. Um, and I'm going to bring you along for all of it. Because it's all stuff that you haven't seen me do personally. Um, first, we are pickling. And we are going to be pickling banana peppers, green beans, and asparagus. So this is our first um, project for the day. We are going to be doing it with um, Mrs. Wages. I make my own pickling mix, but I have used this personally and I love it. It is so good. Um, and it was on sale for a dollar something. So you can't really beat that. So we are going to use this today in our official flavors. Um, and like I said, it's really, really good quality. Um, I'm really impressed. So I hope that you stick along with me and I hope that you're ready to get pickling because that's what we're starting the day off doing. I hope that you're ready to get pickling because that's what we're starting the day off. Okay. All right, so to start off, I already have my green beans cut and I already have my asparagus cut. I just cut the woody stems off. Now these, I want to keep hot. Some of them are hot and some of them aren't. Um, so I'm just leaving the seeds in all of them. But I am going to cut them, I'm not gonna cut them thin. That's not quite a half inch, I don't think, but it's more than a quarter. Because I wanna make sure they have a really nice crunch on them. I don't want a soggy pepper. And I love banana peppers. They are so good. And I was actually gifted these. They didn't come from my garden. Um, my father-in-law, he uh, worked with someone that was giving them away and he knew that I can just about anything. So he gave them to me and I am forever grateful because they are gonna be delicious. And my peppers aren't doing fabulous. I have a bunch of green um, habaneros that I'm waiting to ripen, but other than that and Oh, this right here, this came from my garden. That's gonna go in my um, my dilly beans. I'm gonna make them spicy. So I'm just going to keep chopping these up and then I will bring you back whenever we are making our brine. Okay, so all my jars are filled and waiting for the brine. So I have, and this is part of the instructions on the back of our Mrs. Wages. Seven and a half third cups of water and to that we are going to add three and a third cups of vinegar and you want to make sure that you're using five percent acidity and that'll just say on the container if it's five percent or not and then I have my rings and simmering water and I have my canner getting up to a boil because we are water bath canning and now all we need to add is the pouch and then we're just going to heat it up and stir it until everything's combined and then we can load up our jars make sure um, when you're loading your jars that you are using hot sterilized jars um, you don't want anything contaminated. What I have, this is green beans with a banana pepper and a jalapeno. Green beans and banana peppers. Just banana peppers. And then I have two jars of my asparagus. And we're doing quarts today, so that is going to be 15 minutes at a boiling boil. Get a funnel. And we need a half an inch of headspace. So, 
just pour your brine right over top. And all we did to the vegetables was wash them off. We didn't do anything else to them. And this is just a really frugal way to use up extra vegetables that um, you may not have enough or don't want to freeze them or you don't want to eat them anymore. This is a good way to use up all that excess. Perfect. So, debubble. And then we'll recheck our headspace. Try to make sure everything is underneath your liquid line. Debubble. Be gentle with your asparagus because you don't want to break it all. One of some of the best part of uh, the, the pickle is that it's whole. So make sure there's no nicks or cuts or anything that could compromise your seal. And then we'll take our rings or our lids, sorry. Take our lids, put our hot lids on. You want to make sure that you're soaking your lids in hot not boiling water because you want to loosen up that seal so that it works really well. Okay, and then our rings. And this is going to, <coughs> excuse, me. <coughs> excuse me, fingertip tight and this is going to go into our canner for 15 minutes after it comes up to that uh, rolling boil. Don't start the timer until it is at the rolling boil. And I will bring you back for our finished product. The ring gets loose during the candy process. So let me bring it over and show you our product. So that's the banana peppers and asparagus. Behind it is green beans, asparagus, and then more green beans. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it inspires you to do some canning of your own and put some stuff back, healthy snacks, stuff for the kids, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.